Israel has fired more rockets into the disputed Golan Heights, targeting Iranian outposts for a second night in a row. About 60 rockets were fired by uh, reportedly 28 Israeli jets, as well as uh, 10 further rockets from the ground. Now, Tel Aviv claims it was responding to 20 rockets launched by Iran from Syrian territory into the Golan Heights. The first rocket attack by the Israelis was launched just shortly after Donald Trump announced his decision to withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal, which was reached back in 2015. In his latest statement, the U.S. president blamed Iran for, quote, bedlam and death. We'll see how we do with Iran. Probably we won't do very well with them, but that's okay, too. Uh, they've got to understand life because I don't think they do understand life. If you look at what's happening in the Middle East with Syria, with Yemen, with all of the places they're involved, it's bedlam and death, and we can't allow that to happen. Nati's Igor Zhdanov takes a closer look at the points emphasized by the U.S. president. Another statement from Trump, and we're in for another treat. It's so juicy you can't help but savor it. Let's take it from the top. We'll see how we do with Iran. Probably we won't do very well with them, but that's okay, too. Of course, he probably won't do very well with Iran. He just reneged on a deal that let the country's economy breathe more freely for the first time in decades. And by a chain reaction, Trump probably won't get along with a bunch of other countries either. Yes, all those nations who decided to stay in the deal, reiterating their support for it. Did Trump see this coming, the rift with his own allies? Probably the answer doesn't matter that much. After all, the America first mantra got Trump elected. And if you don't get it, you're in for a life lesson. They've got to understand life because I don't think they do understand life. Wikipedia has a whole article on American exceptionalism and this tirade could very well add a section to it. We get it, Mr. Trump. You say understand life. We here understand how America wants it. And roll over and play. And here's why, according to Trump, everyone should be on board with his Iran decision. If you look at what's happening in the Middle East with Syria, with Yemen, with all of the places they're involved, it's bedlam and death. And we can't allow that to happen. What a set of arguments. Apparently, it's okay to support Saudi Arabia and their bombings of Yemen, a deadly campaign that resulted in the world's worst man-made humanitarian crisis, all courtesy of American weapons, American logistical support and American intelligence. And with Syria, I must have missed the moment when Iran joined the U.S. in sending money and weapons to jihadist armed groups seeking regime change. Trump has laid out a list of demands to Iran. Most notably, he called on Tehran to drop the, quote, quest to destroy Israel, an explicit indicator of who Trump's trying to court here. And this is how Iran feels about Trump's move. And the American flag isn't the only thing in tatters now. So is the Iran nuclear deal, which has left Europe scrambling for a response. One thing is clear, though. They won't be taking a leaf out of Donald's out of the deal.